Hi friends, it's me, Maura Esther, and I am so excited to talk to you about the next holiday coming up is Hanukkah. That's right, Hanukkah is my favorite holiday. Can you say Hanukkah? Very good, you did it. Hanukkah is a holiday where we talk about the story of Hanukkah, we spin dreidels, we light a menorah, we eat latkes and donuts. But, hmm, why do we do all these things? Do you know why? Why do we light a menorah on Hanukkah? And why do we spin the dreidel on Hanukkah? Well, in this video, we are going to learn together about all the different things we do on Hanukkah and why we do them. The first thing we're going to do is read the story of Hanukkah. This is my Hanukkah book. It's called, If the Candles Could Speak, The Story of Hanukkah. Written by Dossie Pruss, illustrated by Michael Graham. Okay, here's the first page. As we sit and watch the Hanukkah flames burn, the candles start speaking, each one takes a turn. The story of Hanukkah we begin to hear and why there's a holiday at this time of year. So, these are the candles of the menorah and they are going to tell us the story of Hanukkah. We have to listen really carefully. Long ago, the red candle begins with a wave of its hand. The Jews lived in Israel. There was peace in the land. They were free to do mitzvahs, deeds that are good, and go up to Jerusalem where the holy temple stood. The purple candle tells of a mighty Greek king who came with new rules and changed everything. From now on all Jews must act like the Greek nation. No Shabbat, no Torah, no Jewish celebrations. Your schools and your shoals will all be closed down and we'll put an idol in the center of town. The base Hamikdash is ours, no Jews can come near. They stopped the holy service the Jews held so dear. The white candle continues its light shining bright. Then brave men cried out, we'll stand up for what's right. They made a small army called the Maccabees and moved to the hills with their families. They refused to bow down to the idols, you see. They knew there's just one God and fought to be free. Their leader was Yehuda the Maccabee. Their children hid in caves and learned Tyra each day. And when they heard the Greek soldiers coming their way, they pulled out their dreidels and pretended to play. The next candle speaks, its color is blue. The Maccabees wondered, now what will we do? The Greeks are so many and we are so few. Their army is strong, there are none to compare. Can we go out to battle? Can we fight? Do we dare? Green candle happily shares with delight. The Maccabees fought with all of their might. They knew with heaven's help that they'd win this fight. And when the Greeks ran away, they saw they were right. The glowing yellow candle can no longer sit, excited to tell how the Jews would not quit. The Maccabees came into the holy temple, the base of Mikdash, at last. They cleaned up the mess, they did it so fast. They set up the menorah, stood it tall on the ground. But oil to light it was nowhere to be found. What oil was needed? Do you have a clue? Only olive oil in a sealed jug would do. The joyful orange candle lets out a cheer. The miracle of Hanukkah I'd like to share. They searched till they found some oil just a bit, the only jug with a seal on it. It was enough oil to light for only one day, but it would take eight days to bring more from far away. This was a mitzvah they would not delay, so they lit the menaira right then, right away. Amazed, they all watched as the bright holy lights kept burning and burning for eight days and nights. The proud pink candle goes on to relate. These miracles make this holiday great. Jews around the world each year celebrate by lighting their candles on nights one through eight. Okay friends, now that we read the Hanukkah story together, let's set the Hanukkah table. Are you ready? Okay, here's my table. I'm going to put it right here. Hmm. Now, what do you think I need to put on my Hanukkah table? That's right, a menorah. So, this is my menorah. I'm gonna put it right here. Beautiful, it looks great. And now I have a basket. 
inside my basket is, that's right, candles. You guessed it. So I'm going to light my menorah. The first candle that goes in the middle is called the shamish because it's so tall and it helps all the other candles. So remember, this is how we light the Hanukkah menorah. One, two, three, four, And there's so many different colors here. We have a green candle, a blue candle, a purple candle, an orange candle. I love it. Okay, hmm, what's next? Let's see. I know, what do we eat on Hanukkah? And we put it in a frying pan. Do you know? That's right, latkes. Mm, latkes are so delicious. They're one of my favorite foods take a potato and you shred it up and then you mix it with eggs and some salt, maybe some pepper, and you fry it in a frying pan. So these are my latkes. And what do we use to make our latkes? That's right, a frying pan. This is my frying pan and this is my spatula. Let's put the latkes inside. It's hot. Okay, let's put the spatula frying pan there with my latkes. Hmm, what else do we need on our Hanukkah table? What spins around and around? Do you know what it's called? That's right, a dreidel. This is my dreidel. Do you see how much it spins around and around? There's so many different colors on my dreidel. We have blue and green, purple, and orange. All right. Here goes my dreidel, right there, awesome. And the last thing I need for my Hanukkah table is Hanukkah gelt. Some people give Hanukkah gelt to their friends on Hanukkah. If you want, you can go to the store and you could try to find a chocolate Hanukkah gelt. It's so delicious. Okay, I'm going to put my Hanukkah gelt right here. Wow, look at my Hanukkah table. It looks so nice all ready for Hanukkah. Okay friends, let's make sure we have everything on our Hanukkah table. Do we have our menorah? Check. Do we have our frying pan and latkes? And spatula? Check. Do we have our dreidel? Check. And do we have our Hanukkah gelt? Yep. That's right, we have everything that we need on our Hanukkah table. Okay friends, now that we read the Hanukkah story and we set our Hanukkah table, it's time for us to sing our Hanukkah story song. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to use my puppets. Over here I have mean King Antiochus. Hmm, he's not nice. You're not very nice, King Antiochus. And here I have Yehuda Hamakabi. <gasps> he saved the day, remember? So, let's start the song. Antiochus, the wicked king, he did to the Jews a terrible thing. He made the holy base Hamikdash unclean. <gasps> and besides that, he was so mean. That's not fair, the Maccabees did say. And with Hashem's help, they chased the Greeks away. They found a little Shemen. It was so bright. It lasted for them eight days and nights. Wow, you guys did so great. Let's sing that again. This time, you can sing it with me. Antiochus the wicked king. He did to the Jews a terrible thing. He made the holy base Hamikdash unclean. And besides that, he was so mean. That's not fair, the Maccabees did say. And with Hashem's help, they chased the Greeks away. They found a little Shemen. It was so bright. It lasted for them 
eight days and nights. Hooray! <gasps> that was beautiful. Great work, friends. Now that we know the story of Hanukkah, let's go over some of the characters in the Hanukkah story. This is a Kohen Gadol. The Kohen Gadol was the very holy man that lit the menorah in the base of Mikdash. The Kohen Gadol. Let's see, who's next? <gasps> Ooh, these are the mean Greek soldiers. They were not very nice. They destroyed the base of Mikdash. <gasps> who's that sitting on a big throne? <gasps> King Antiochus. That's right, he told the Jewish people, no more kosher, no more Shabbos, <gasps> no more mitzvahs. <gasps> oh no, they're not very nice, King Antiochus. Let's see who's next. Do they look like soldiers to you? Do they have helmets? They're not regular or soldiers. These are the Maccabees. The Maccabees were the Jewish people who helped fight the Greek soldiers. And they won the war with Hashem's help. Friends, that's all we have for today. Wow, so fun. Thank you for doing that with me. Okay, friends, here I have a stack of cards. These cards all have to do with Hanukkah. Let's talk about them together. The first card I have here is dreidels. Dreidels are so much fun to play with. They spin around and around. And on a dreidel, there are four special letters. Do you want to know what they are? Okay, let's get my big dreidel out so we can look at them together. The first letter that we have is a nun. Can you say nun? Very good. Next letter we have is Gimel. Can you say Gimel? Great. The next letter is a Hay. And the last letter we have on our dreidel is a Shin. And these letters help us spell the long sentence of Nes Gadol Hayasham. A great miracle happened there. And that's talking about the miracle of Hanukkah. Jewish people found a small jug of oil and it lasted them for eight days and nights. And the miracle of the Maccabees won the Greeks. Another reason we play with dreidels on Hanukkah is because a long time ago in the story of Hanukkah, the Jewish people were not allowed to keep Torah and mitzvahs and they were not allowed to learn any Torah at all. This made the Jewish people so sad, but they knew they had to learn Torah. So what did they do? They ran to caves and the Jewish children would hide in a cave and learn Torah. But then, all of a sudden, <gasps> who's there? It's me, a Greek soldier. Are you guys learning Torah in there? <gasps> quick, hide the Torah, quick, quick, quick. Take out a dreidel, pretend like we're playing with dreidels. I'm coming in. Okay, you can come in. Hmm, what are you guys doing in here? Said the Greek soldiers. Oh, we're just playing dreidel. We're just playing a game of dreidel. Hmm, okay, I'll let you go this time. I don't see any Taurus in here. Phew, and that's what they did in the Hanukkah story. The Jewish people would hide in caves and learn Torah all day long. And when the Greeks came, they would hide it right away and take out a dreidel and spin it and pretend to play dreidel. What next card do I have? <gasps> a menorah. Of course, we know that on Hanukkah, we light the menorah to remember the miracle that happened in the base of Mikdash. Oh, this is Hanukkah gelt. You remember we put Hanukkah gelt on our Hanukkah table? It's so fun to play with Hanukkah gelt on Hanukkah. Oh, what's that? I think you know what it is. Hanukkah presents. A lot of families have a custom to give each other Hanukkah presents on Hanukkah to spread the joy and light. All right. Mm, delicious. These are donuts. Mm, yummy. Why do we eat donuts on Hanukkah? Donuts have a lot of oil in them. So 
It helps us remember the great miracle of Hanukkah, a little bit of oil that lasted eight days and nights. And another food that has a lot of oil in them is latkes. Remember our frying pan with our spatula? Latkes that we made? That's another thing that we eat on Hanukkah that has a lot of oil inside so that we remember the miracle that happened with a small jug of oil. All right, friends, that was so fun. Would you like to play a matcha game with me? All right, let's do it. Okay, here we have our six Hanukkah cards. Can you find a match for the gelt? Hmm, is it here? Yep, you did it, you found a match. All right, can you find a match for the donut? Where's the match? That's right, very good. Next up is our Hanukkah presents. Do you know where the Hanukkah presents are? There, you found it, awesome. And here's our Minaira. Can you find the match for the Minaira? Very good. Up next is our Latkes. Can you find the Latkes card? Hmm, very good, you did it. And the last card that we have of our Hanukkah cards is the dreidels. Do you know where the dreidels are? That's right, you did it. You found all the matches. Okay, friends, now more Esther's going to show you the proper way to light a menorah each night of Hanukkah. First goes the shamish. On night number one, we light the first candle all the way to the right. On night number two, we light the second to right candle. Two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All the way to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it, friends. We lit the menorah the right way. Very good. This next activity is counting game. Each of these cards has a number and Hanukkah gelt near it. This is number one. One Hanukkah gelt on there. Very good. This is number two. The number two. So I'm going to put two Hanukkah gelts. One, two or the number two. This is the number three. And I'm going to put three Hanukkah gelts. One, two, three for the number three. The next card I have is number four. Let's put four Hanukkah gelts. Count with me. One, two, Three, four. Very good for the number four. And the last card I have is the number five. This is the number five. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, and five. That's five Hanukkah gelts on the number five. Very good, friends. You counted to five with me. Okay, now I'm excited to sing a Hanukkah party song with you. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, Hanukkah, Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Let's have a party. We'll all dance a horror. Gather around the table. We'll give you a treat. Dreidels to play with and latkes to eat. Trails to play with and 
Wow, that was so fun. I love that Hanukkah song. It makes me so happy. Now, I would like to play a very fun magic game. I have two sets of cards with me. One stack has colorful pictures and another stack of cards has just black shadow. They're not colorful, they're just black. So let's see if we can match the colorful cards to its shadow. All right, let's do that together. Okay friends, here we have six cards that are just black, like shadows. Let's see if we could make a match for the colorful cards. The first card is a present, a Hanukkah present. Can you find the match for the Hanukkah present? Is this it? No. Is this it? Nope. Oh, there it is. We found a match for the Hanukkah present. Two Hanukkah presents. Okay, up next we have, let's see, a dreidel, a pink dreidel. Can you find the shadow for the pink dreidel? Is that the shadow for the pink dreidel? Yes, it is. You did it. You made a match. Great work. Okay, up next is two donuts. Delicious. Can you find the shadow for the donuts? Is this the shadow for the donuts? No. Is this it? Nope. All right, let's see if we could find it. Oh, there it is. We found the shadow for the donuts. All right, up next is the Muggin David. Is this the shadow for the Muggin David? Nope. Nope, that's not it either. Let's see. Oh. There it is, we found a match for the Mug and David. The next card we have is Hanukkah Gelt. Can you find the match for the Hanukkah Gelt? Is that it? No. Oh, there it is, we did it. We found a match. And the last card we have is a beautiful blue Minera. And there it is, the shadow for the Minera. Great work, friends, you did it. You found a match for all the shadow cards. Wow, friends, you did so good. You made all the matches for the Hanukkah image and its shadow. Great work. Wow, friends, that was so much fun learning all about Hanukkah with you. And you know, before we go, I just want to talk about one small lesson that Hanukkah teaches us. Sometimes it seems so dark in the world and there's some things that might not be so good but we have to remember that every time we do a mitzvah, we are making the world a better place. Just like when you light the menorah, it helps make the world brighter. Imagine a dark, dark, dark room, and you bring in a little, little candle. That little candle makes the room so bright, even though it's so little. It makes a big difference. Just like your mitzvahs that you do make a big difference in the world. It makes Hashem proud of us, and it's going to bring Mashiach so fast. All right, friends, it was so fun learning about Hanukkah with you. I hope you have a very happy Hanukkah, a friendly Hanukkah, and a Hanukkah Chag Sameach. See you next time. Bye.